Well, hello there, you wonderful humans, and welcome back to Pal World. Hope everybody is having a fantastic day, and thank you for coming to hang out, you wonderful, wonderful beans. Uh, we're back on our hard mode server that we had to uh, restart, uh, what, yesterday? We restarted the, the hard mode server yesterday, and things have been going pretty well. We've claimed a coal base, we've claimed a metal base, and it's time to actually start getting everything set up. So that's what we're working on right now. I just realized that uh, I have a problem, and the problem is... Uh, what are these dudes doing? Oh, that's what the problem is. It's part of the problem. We're going to make a solution to said problem right now. I don't want my food up here. Uh, I don't want them coming up here for food, because all the small creatures except for... Uh, basically, I don't want anything going on up here if I don't need it to. So we should have everything kind of me making its way down to here. Uh, but yeah, uh, looking good. Yeah, we're going to be setting up the metal base a little bit today. Uh, we're going to be hunting for pals. I want to hunt. I want to start hunting for the things that I'm going to be using more long term. Also going to be breeding for our perfect uh, base pals today. And uh, and kind of working on all that. So I, I know I haven't released a video in three days. I've been working on the server. Uh, I've been trying to catch on a little bit of sleep. Um... I've been wanting to record videos, uh, but I lost the progress of almost three videos because of the server exploding, so uh, uh, now I'm super behind. <laughs> uh, super unfortunate, but I, was, I had two really big videos kind of in the works, but since I lost all the progress with what I was doing, I have to redo it all now. Uh, but yeah, I hope everybody's having a great week. It's Tuesday. We're making it through another week. Lots of progress on the server right now. we got 32 people on again right now already. Has the server update happened yet? Did the game update? I don't think the game updated. Yeah, the game hasn't had an update yet. Why am I thicker than a box of jelly donuts? Oh god, I'm like 200 over encumbered too. I'm gonna drop all that wheat. I'm coming back for that. I'm coming back for the wheat and tomatoes. I don't know why I left them in my inventory, but I did. I got such big brains. Dealing with a thunderstorm myself, got hot cocoa and some cookies. Very nice, very nice. Uh, that is awesome. But no, so happy to see everybody today. We got uh, we got Stamp in town right now too. Uh, so this will be the only stream today. Uh, and hopefully be back on track uh, tomorrow with videos. I should do a zoo series. <laughs> do you know how to change the server to zero building deterioration? No, you run your own server and so does my friend. When he changes it, it doesn't work. It's because the majority of the server settings in this game don't actually work right now. Um, like, you can't increase... Basically, you need a lot of mods to make the server settings actually work. So, that would be why. Unfortunately. Alright, who fell off the cliff? Is it an Anubis Abubis? Pretty sure it is. Somebody's hungry and they fell off the cliff. Which, actually, we need to fix that, too. I'm assuming it's an Anubis. We need to breed for better Anubises today, too. So I think what we need to do is, one, we need to farm up a lot of stone. Because I need to make a... I need to make a stone barricade so nothing falls off that edge anymore. You have to stop the server to change the server. You have to stop every server to change the server settings. <laughs> At least with every server I've ever had uh, for it to work, right? But no, the majority of the server settings in the game, especially when it comes to base stuff, does not work at all. At least I never, I've never dared to risk trying to change server settings without restarting the server first. But no, like, you can't increase the number of bases, um, can't increase the number of pals in bases normally. Even though there's settings in the I, &I settings for it, they don't work. And you need a mod to make them to work. Super odd. I'm assuming it's a hard limitation because of some of the issues, um, that they've experienced with probably stabilization and things like that. What? <laughs> Mm 
I'm gonna use Galeclaw instead of Hang You, because I just this is what I got. Just using what I got, you know? Can only do so much. And I, the server literally just started. You got a shiny dig toy? So, oh, a thick old boy, huh? Got a thick old boy. I got a couple thousand, uh, a couple thousand of that. Maybe I'm gonna leave it for now. I'll see if we keep having problems with them falling off. Do I know there's a way to bring back a lost server? Well, it's a little late for that now. Uh, I tried every single thing on the internet, though. So. Um, if you're some kind of server-saving savant, I could have used your help yesterday when I tried to fix it for 10 hours. Ugh. But sometimes you just gotta let things burn. Oh no, here comes the dick toys discussion. <laughs> I'm pretty sure what happened is somebody used mods and uh, there was no way to... It both corrupted player data and... Um, it corrupted the player data and it corrupted the world save. And I've done... Did, did so many different things. Anyways, we don't need to talk about it. Talked about it enough yesterday. Everything explodified. All right, so we got everything up and running here. We've got our, basically we're doubling this as not only our metal farm, but we're also using it as our farm farm for everything else that we need to. So essentially what we've done is I've created one level up here for all of the farming needs. I even have a ranch up here if we need to. And then we're gonna be able to get all of our metal here as well. Since we're gonna be using decent uh, metal pals, we're gonna be using Anubis and uh, Blasmut as our uh, mining pals. Um, we should be good to go. I really need to go check on coal. See how much coal we've got over at the coal base. Uh, Bo was on, but I think Bo is off now. <laughs> Bo's been going crazy over here. There's Bo. Look at Bo. Oh, Bo. I want to bring Bo some metal. Let's see here. Guild, you need metal, buddy. <laughs> Hi. Oh, yeah, he's got 5,000. Uh, I'm going to bring you uh, 1K or for some coal. Tried to get on last night, but it was full. Yeah, it's been full. It's been... It has been very full. Actually, what is that? That's split in half. You know what? I'll just... I'll split it in half. I'll bring him... I'll bring him 1,900 ore, and I'll take 1,900 coal. Did Bo make a clone of you? I think we just clicked the same preset. I forgot to change my hair. This is like the fourth character that I've made now, fifth character that I've made, and I keep forgetting to change the hair. Uh, let's see here. I'm going to put it in here for him. There you go. Brought you 2K ore. There we go. And I'm going to take a couple of these. Boom. And we're going to get mining. <clears throat> Following you to see you in Skull and Bones. Uh, game on fam. Uh, we will be playing Skull and Bones. So we'll be playing Skull and Bones, Enshrouded, and Nightingale uh, when it releases. Uh, I will be playing Skull and Bones early, I believe. Um, I believe there's a couple of betas coming up, open beta and stuff like that. I'll be playing it during the open beta, as well as uh, anything else that uh, I am offered to play. Pretty excited for that. I did get to... I was actually supposed to release a video. Uh, Robert Brown, thank you for the five gift memberships. You wonderful, wonderful human. Thank you very, very much. 
Uh, let's see here. We've got coal ingots. We need to start making some refined metal. I need to start working on some, uh, getting some balls made. So we're just going to use all of this on refined ingots for right now. And let's go ahead and get our ignis. Did I get an ignis? No, I did not. Uh, no Lexara with us. Oh, also, close your eyes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, the reason Lexara is not here with us right now, and she's online, she's here with us in spirit, but I got awoken at 4 a.m. this morning to Lexara being like, I'm not going to sleep. I need to make the base that I have been dreaming of. Um, so then I was awoken at 8 a.m. to a happy Lexara and a completed base, and this is what she made. She made a absolutely massive base, a full-blown breeding base. We've got one, two, three, four. We got four uh, breeding pens down here. Everything else that we could possibly need. A whole bunch of uh, of cake material, like cake making materials, all sorts of storage, and then another four up top, another five up top. So that's uh, technically the server is supposed to have twenty pals per base, but the setting isn't working right now. But this is preemptively uh, getting us ready for that. Uh, so at some point we'll be able to have each and every one of these pens working at the same time. You flew over it. It's dope. She works super hard on it. Robert Brown, thank you again for the five gift memberships, you wonderful, wonderful human. Thank you so much, and welcome new members. Uh, I believe I'll be launching another new server today. Um, we've had a massive influx. I know there's a lot of people trying to get on the server. I will be launching another one today uh, to allow all of our people to be able to log on. So keep an eye out for the next server that's going to be launching. And if that one fills up and we have uh, full-blown people on that one, I will be launching another one as well. Uh, all with the same settings, accelerated settings for anybody that wants to transfer over to uh, from a previous server or any of the other servers. Um, this whole week is basically just going to be getting stuff set up so people can just get in the game and have fun. Woo! Okay, I got the... Oh, I got Artisan and Slacker. Tear, your giant cat butthole is... I had to kick Tear out of the office. What do you need to join the servers? Um, so all you need to do to join the servers is to become a Super Bean or higher. Uh, any Super Bean or higher will be able to join us in any multiplayer servers that we host, guilds, etc. So anybody that has gotten a gift membership, has become a member, or anything like that the past couple of days, you'll be more than welcome to join in on any of the servers that we host. Alright, so we need to hatch another Blasma. Right now I'm trying to get, I'm trying to breed Artisan onto one and remove Slacker. I've never tried to do it this bad way, but I just don't have another male Blasma. But ever, I think Red Skills, unconfirmed, but I think Red Skills have a really high transfer rate. Uh, because they're so bad. <laughs> Artisan puts sla plus slacker. Got the talent, but doesn't want to do anything about it. Um, you know, which is very uh, representative of many of us out there. Give a tour of the base? Yeah, yeah. So, um, obviously, we've got all of our belts here, which we're going to be upgrading today. Uh, we've got the Palsphere Dono box, which is where basically we're going to be putting some stuff. We've got armor and things here, too. Extra ammo. Just added signs to everything. We've got a couple of extra storage things. We've got a ranches, beds. Um, the ranches are empty right now. Although, I need to stonk them up with some chickens. Because we are running out of eggs with the quickness. I need to take this fox bark out. I have an extra lilene in here. We have a mammarest with runner and swift. So, I need to be breeding this. Uh, I know Lexara wants a Fanglope, so I need to breed Lexara a Fanglope with a Mammarest. 
she made a beautiful base. I think, well, actually, we made a joke earlier that, uh, <laughs> because I woke up to a base. Now, this whole playthrough, for the first time, I have been out in the wild. I have, basically, all of our playthroughs, I've spent hanging out at the base. Um, just hanging out at the base. That's, that's pretty much it. And, uh... And this time, I've been the one out of the base. And Lexara's been building the base, taking care of all that stuff. And I think she built me the breeding base, so I would go back to being the, uh, you know, the base human. And I, I, I'm going to end up doing because I have a horrible addiction to the breeding system in this game. Uh, anyways, we want a Fang Lope. So we're going to keep using this. Also, if you use this website... Buy the creator a coffee. You know? It's super good. It was the original website. And uh, it comes in super handy. Must have a Mammarest. I'm 90% sure we can make a Fang Lope with a Mammarest. And by 90% sure, I am 100% sure that I can't now. Uh, Keith, thank you for coming to Super Bean. And Gensho Ivanov, thank you for coming to Super Bean. Thank you very, very much. Is Lexara taking a break today? Yeah, she woke up at 4 a.m., went to bed. So she got four hours of sleep last night. Uh, woke up at 4 and has been up ever since. Um, she built the base last night. Uh, been helping me clean up and uh, pick up stamp and stuff like that. So uh, just before the stream, I was like, you need to go to bed. You need a nap. She's taking a well, well-deserved nap. All right, so let's see what we have here. We have a lot of options to be able to make a fang lope. So I think what we need to do is just kind of look at what pals we have and see if anything has. We already have Runner. We know that. I kind of want to get something else on there. We've got Logging Foreman. So we've got a Lamb Ball with Runner. We know we can breed Lamb Ball into a Fanglope. If we use a King Paka and a Zurobe Cinnamoth or Wumpo Botten. I know I have some Cinnamoths. We've got Ferocious and Capacitor, Musclehead, and Abnormal. So I kind of want to breed... This is what I'm going to do. So we want... We we discovered that if you stack too many speed traits on a Fanglope, it's bad news bears, right? Um, that is what we've discovered. It is bad news bears. Um, so what we're going to do... Because I kind of want to battle Fanglope. I feel like Fanglope are pretty strong on their own right. So we're going to put Runner and Musclehead. Get back here, you dirty little bean. You little nugget of death. Come here. The goal is to put Legend, Musclehead, Runner, and Swift. And I think that's going to be... That's the perfect... That's the perfect Fanglope. Also, too fast. What's wrong with the speed Fanglope? Pixel... Pickle Rick. Pixel Rick. Pickle Rick. Uh... A fanglobe that fast can actually teleport through the map because it goes faster than you're able to load in dungeons and you'll run through the world. It's an unfortunate circumstance of life. But it's the truth. Oh, that sucks, butts. We've got Ferocious. I guess the question I should also be asking is... Are any of these IVs? I don't care about the IVs right now. I don't care about the IVs. We do have to go out and catch possibly some better dude bros, though. <laughs> uh, so we've got Runner. All right, what other options do we have, then? Do we have a Swift thing? We need... Oh, I think I have a Chicopee with Swift. A Chicopee with Sirius. Artisan Swift. I do have a Chicopee with Swift. And it's a female. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. I'm trying to do this breeding as cleanly as possible. Uh, with as little... I've been doing so much testing with the breeding. Especially since uh, like the discovery of IVs. I, I had the video almost done. And I have to re-record the entire thing. The data that I collected, still good, but everything else, 
everything else is bad because I have to read. I have because I, I didn't get to finish it. All right, so we got muscle head male, a moth and a chicken crossed the road and made a fang lope. We're the perfect traits for a fat shadow beak. Whatever your heart desires, there, buddy. What games are you looking forward to this year? Oh God, so many. Um, looking forward to Nightingale. Uh, looking forward to. I'm having a brain fart. I'm looking forward to a lot, but apparently my brain doesn't do brain things. Y'all need some cake. Pixel Rick, you're playing solo, probably. When you're playing on a dedicated server, it doesn't matter if you have all of the computers hooked up onto one. The most power... It doesn't even matter if you have a supercomputer. You're limited by the, the performance of a dedicated server. And even though I have it... Have this server running on a $6,000 computer, and the only thing it's doing is this server, you still only get 13 FPS. So if you're running faster than 12 FPS, you're going to run through the freaking world. <laughs> Get some Red Bull? Do I sound like I'm, like, dying right now? Possibly, I suppose. Cake. Streamer brain. No, I haven't slept, so... It's been a rough couple of days. Like, I haven't gotten to, to make any videos. Because, so the day before, so basically I haven't released videos in three days and that's not for lack of trying. Um, it was, I was in the process of recording a video. I took a, a break to, to lay down for a second and, uh, came back. Server was dead. Spent the entire night until 7 a.m. working on the server, trying to recover it, trying to get everybody's data back. Uh, could not do it. Could not get everybody's data back. Um... Then woke up the next day, spent the next seven hours also trying to fix the server. Then launched a new server, and then obviously had to catch back up. So, all right, we got a new mail that does not have slacker on it, which is exactly what we wanted. So then we can slap this one down, and we have officially removed slacker, which means all we need to do is get artisan on here, and we we Gucci. My main save is on a uh, on a solo about to breed a fanglope on a server. I'll probably just don't breed it as fast. You just don't need to. I mean, still still do it. It's still the best ground mount in the game. Arguably the best mount in the game. Because um, if you don't need to be flying, then just use a fanglope instead. Uh, but essentially, just be careful. Just know, And it's only an issue in caves. Because uh, caves are going to be close to the wall, which means um, you can run through the wall if you're not careful. I've had it happen three times. But I've also used them for 300 hours, and I've had it happen a couple times. Actually, I've only been using them the last couple days, but that's besides the point. Anyways. What were we doing? Honestly, the tag, though, how are you? Uh, having as much sleep? No, I mean, I'm, I'm very much... <laughs> I, uh, I sat... So, Stamps here, and we watched the... Uh, um... The new Wonka movie, and and I I couldn't help but fall asleep the entire time. I I kept taking naps and just woke up. I was like, I know what's happening. So I got a, I got a a couple of sporadic naps in today. Do you have a strat for the Palladius fight? Yeah, you do it. Uh, do it at nighttime when Palladius is sleeping. You take down Necromus first, and then take down Palladius. Hmm. And Gamer Gabe, thank you for the five gift memberships. Thank you so much. Stamp going to stream with you tonight? I don't know what she's doing. I uh, She might be taking a nap or she might be playing something somewhere. I know they brought their electronics to be able to play today. I didn't put cake in the cinema thing? Also, is Hang You the better glider? I've never... I've, I have never even looked at a Hang You. Is this a members-only server? Yes, it is. It is indeed a members-only server. Uh, we have multiple servers. This is the uh, 
Uh, this is the main one. I'm going to be launching one or two more um, today. So if there are a bunch of people in the community that have been looking for a great server to play on with a great community, um, you know, make sure to join the members discord. That's how you get access to all the servers. Uh, keep an eye on it because we will be launching new ones um, every day as long as there's enough people to fill them up. So, Can you get the legendary schematics by only killing the alphas? Yeah, killing them works, but I recommend catching them. I recommend catching the alpha, and then so then you get a chance to get the, the schematic from catching it. And then you can butcher it, and you have another chance after that. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, blazy boy. You all have slacker and you need to go in the garbage. These are going to be compression fodder. Ginger, you're awesome, Tag. I want to thank you for all you've done for us. You have such a kind heart, and that's why I've stayed for over four years or so watching you play games, even if I took breaks for personal reasons. Oh, Ginger, you have been absolutely amazing, and, and that's fair. Like that, I try and remember everybody regardless of, like, like especially those that have been around for a long time. Y'all have been so unbelievably supportive, and you know what? Life happens. You got to do adult things. Adulting sucks, but we all got to do it. And I can't expect everybody to show up and be super duper active every day, no matter what. And you have been absolutely amazing always. <laughs> Work in lurk mode, activate. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, OBS had a little bit of a, a fit there for a second. All right. I think with how many things I need here, I want to... What the heck? We need to breed up a better Petalia. We have Artisan and Downtrodden, but I can get better than that. Honestly, that's perfectly fine. Adulting equals you. Artisan. I basically just want to have all of my things perpetually making all the ingredients that we need as much as possible. I'm making sure that I have uh, four Anubis here. So that way I can use the Anubis for transportation of all the goods of everything. And then once we start getting good Blazemuts, then we're going to be using all those Blazemuts for our main mining source. Now I know... I know many of you out there are absolutely in love with Dig Toys. Now Dig Toys is honestly the best pal that you can have for mining if you want to actively be mining. If you want to go out and you want to mine manually, Digtoys is the end-all be-all miner because you have the activated skill here that you can use. It's great. So if you need stuff quick, Digtoys still is the best way to be able to get ore quick. But the problem with Digtoys is completely broken when it comes to being a base pal. It does not work as a base pal. So, I, I recommend still catching dig toys, but I do not by any means recommend using them as a base pal. Now, you can notice that when we had uh, dig toys in our party, it was doing quite a bit of damage to the rocks. But now, when dig toys is in as your mining pal, unfortunately, he's going to prioritize using this, but that's, that's not part of the problem right now. Um, he's completely broken as a base pal. The damage that he does to the rocks when he's in your party, because you do need the headband for him to even do well, that headband doesn't carry over to him being a base pal. It's like if we try and get him to mine this ore right now, one, he gets stuck and he's broken all the time, but two, he does like two damage to the rocks, which means he's going to take probably five days to completely destroy this rock. So we're getting like one, one ore at a time. It's really, 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 really bad. So I know a lot of you are all team Dig Toys out there, but this is my final warning. Dig Toys is the worst mining pal for your base possible. Best pal to have in your party, worst pal to have in your base.
<clears throat> I may or may not have doubled that up as a recording for the video I'm trying to make. <laughs> you might you might find that a couple of times. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What's going on, Mystic? How are you? Yeah. Tombat before Dig Toys, a hundred percent, hundred percent. Tombat, Tombat is my my top recommended uh, mining pal for the beginning of the game until you get Anubis. <clears throat> they also eat like there's no tomorrow. That is also true. If any of you really do want the best mining pal for the beginning of the game without having to get an Anubis or any of the other late game miners, getting a Tombat really is going to be your best option. Tombat is like a dollar store version of Anubis, and Anubis is great, so anything dollar store version of one of the best pals in the game is going to do you a, a pretty good solid at the beginning of the game. What's the best pal for iron mining at base? Like, um... Pretty much Anubis. So, so let's go over that. So speaking of Anubis, Anubis here, you can get Artisan on it super easily. And you can get it at the beginning of the game. It's it's one of the best pals in the game, and you can get it early. It's got four handicraft, which means you're going to be able to craft everything early. It's got level three mining, so there's only one level above that. Two if you condense 120 of something that's level four. And it's got level two transporting. Now, the reason the transporting is really good is that means it's going to do your mining for you, but it's also going to handle all of the other things that are going on in your base. Like, we have this base currently doubled up as our farming base and our mining base because since we have such efficient miners, we're often having time between spawns where it's, nothing's happening. And items despawn when they're on the ground. So if you don't have a good transporter then all of your things are going to be wasted. They're going to despawn. So you need good transporters on your base. And Anubis are small. They don't get stuck. They move very fast. They have good movement speed. And they just, they, they're just they just super efficient at everything they do. Look at that Naruto run right now. He's cruising. He's going to slap that rock. He's going to transport it. They're incredibly fast. So it's honestly the best pal to get at the beginning of the game for anything to do with your base. So we actually need to breed up a couple more good Anubis. Because right now, right now we have a, a Relaxosaurus with Artisan. Uh, it has Glutton on it, but I don't have any good Celeray. And that's the problem. I have no, I have no good Celeray. I do have a Celeray with Workaholic. But I don't have anything else. So we're actually going to go out and we're going to try and get some good Celeray. Because I really want a team of good Anubis. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going to work on right now. See if we get some good Blazy Boys here. Uh, we're going to go out and try and get another Yormantide Ignis as well. What if you don't want to crossbreed into Anubis since it breaks the game? What pal would you suggest then for mining? If you don't want to crossbreed into Anubis... Uh, I, don't th I really don't think it breaks the game in my opinion, but... Um, if you don't want to, I would go Tombat and Pen King. Tombat and Pen King, they'll, they'll hold you over. So I would go Tombat and Pen King, and then I would... I would go Blazemut before Anubis, because Anubis is harder to get than an early game Blazemut. And you still have to catch them. Uh, so you can get a Blazemut by going up here. Actually, Reptiro. Reptiro is one of my other favorite mining pals. Honestly, if you don't want to breed for an Anubis, which I mean, you really need an Anubis, uh, you need a good transporter, but Tombat will hold you over. Um, but Reptiro, Reptiros are great, whether it's the Ice version or the Fire version. I don't have the Fire version on me. Ice version has level 3 Ice, the Fire version has level 3 level three Kindling. Like, uh, Reptiro in general, both are really good. They're big, but they don't get stuck. I don't know why I've never had any... I need to get really stuck, but they're going to be the best until you get to Blaze Mutt. Level 3 mining, level 3 kindling is a lifesaver. They're going to take care of two jobs for you. It's basically just the dollar store version of Blaze Mutt. It's just below it. Uh, Blaze Mutt has level 4 mining and 3 kindling. It's, it's really, really good. 
Um, so let's see. Do we have any balls? We have a couple balls. Let's go get some celery. They're going to be sleeping right now anyways. <sighs> Zurich, thank you. Over 900 watching and only 200 likes. Oh, thank you, Ginger. Tag is one of the best at giving you power level to play. Slap that like button like it owes you money. Oh, thank you, Ginger. And yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it helps. Helps a lot. Any tips for a content creator making Power World videos for the first time? Uh, you should have started three weeks ago. But that being said, um, you need to, like, my best tip is to study the algorithm. Like, it's really, really understand what makes videos pop. Um, and make sure, like... It sucks, but really what it comes down to is you need to be on top of everything. Like, you need to be constantly releasing good content. And yeah, I know my editing sucks, but I spend a lot of time on my videos. And while my editing sucks and there's going to be problems in my videos, I spend a lot of time to make sure I release good information. So, my videos would do better if my editing didn't suck. But they do good still because I release good information. And I release information that people are looking for. So you need to combine a game that's popping off with information that people are searching for, which means you need to understand, one, the algorithm, and two, how to leverage search engine optimization, so that way you can actually, one, learn what people are actually wanting to watch, and two, how to properly keyword and make your videos for that type of content. And that will carry over to any other video game or anything else you want to do in life, like as far as like being on the internet. If you can learn those three things, and you need to not give up. Like, really, most people give up on YouTube before they succeed, honestly, in anything in life. And uh, it takes time. You're going to fail a lot, and then and you're going to fail until you succeed. And most people give up before they, uh, before they succeed. Would you say timing is important before everything else? Absolutely. Like, uh... Like right now, views are down on Power World content 75%. So can you still succeed on Power World? Yeah. But you're not going to be able to succeed at the highest level possible. And it's, there's no luck involved on YouTube. It's all timing, like, like right content at the right time. And if you can do both of those things, then you will succeed no matter what. Too long, didn't read it. Don't sell to the people, sell to the algorithm. That's not how that works at all. That's not how that works at all. You need to understand the algorithm to get to the people. <laughs> like, and that's not even selling to the algorithm. Like, that's... Like, I'm not... I don't make content for the algorithm. If I did, my videos would be completely different. I make videos that are searchable. So, most content creators, when they're telling you how to be, like... Like, most of those, like, people that give, like, YouTube tips and things like that, they're like, just do what you love and make the content that you love. And there's there's a, there's a definitely a big part of that because if you don't do what you love, it's not going to be sustainable and you're not going to get through those depressing phases where nothing works. But if you understand search engine optimization, most people, most, most like, the, the, the people out there that will, like, teach you how to do videos and stuff, they're like, ah, nobody gives a shit about search engine optimization. But a good... 50 to 70% of my videos that pop off when I'm covering a new game all come from understanding how search engine optimization works and leveraging that and making sure that my videos are highly searchable. So, when you're first starting off, if you can learn how to actually rank in a search for a game that's popping off, then your channel will succeed and then you can figure out how to do everything else after that. <laughs> but timing is everything like the uh, the problem with a lot of a lot of people that start youtube is they they fall in love with something and they try and cover it when it's already dead or they're like okay i'm gonna go to my favorite game that came out 10 years ago and start making videos on that like unfortunately as much as you love that game and a lot of other people love that game people don't search for it anymore so you need to find the game that you love, that's popping off, that you're knowledgeable in, and you need to do all three of those things at once. Uh, Tazzy, thank you for the super chat. Or not for the super chat, for the gift memberships. I appreciate you. 
I appreciate you very much. And Ginger with the 10 gift memberships as well. Sweet baby Jesus. Welcome, Steven, Black Hat, Fiery, Kayla, Black Pixies, Core, L. Scott. Welcome, everybody. Make sure to join the members Discord. Or find a common issue not covered and covered at first. Exactly. So that is actually how I started my channel. Is one, I leveraged search engine optimization. And two, I targeted knowledge gaps in anything that I played. So I constantly was always looking up what other creators were making. And I would either, one, make sure that I wasn't covering that same content because I didn't want to compete with people when I was a smaller channel. And then, and then what I, and I, unfortunately, I got, kind of got stuck in that mode for years where I was not making a lot of content that I could have because somebody else made it already. And I had to like teach myself eventually to still make those videos, even if uh, somebody else did, because your community still wants your content. Uh, but then also, if somebody does something worse than you and you know more information about it, then you still definitely need to make that video because that's still a knowledge gap. And it's really important that you share. Even if, like, share something that has more information in it. So, you, so at, at an early game, if you're going to start YouTube or, like, especially starting YouTube or any kind of content on the internet, is uh, leverage search engine and knowledge gaps and prove yourself to be a good source for people to come to and you'll start popping off. Happens every day. Everybody always says that, you know, the internet's too saturated. Like, every person I talk to that's afraid to do YouTube or anything like that, they're like, you know, I can't do it. Everybody else is doing it. It's too saturated. It's just going to die out. Well, that's not true. There's new, like, m more successful content creators now than ever before. Nobody's really doing design videos on YouTube. I know. That's why Kato's popping off right now. Kato targeted a gap. And she's killing it right now. Like the first time like doing a full transfer to a new game like that. And absolutely killing it. Because she's targeting something that nobody else is doing. And you need to be consistent. Yeah, for sure. Alright, I wanted to get a hang you. Because I wanted to test that out. What the heck? My full-time content creator? Yeah, I've been doing a full-time for, uh, I guess, four years now. Hmm. Oh, well, Lixa, no, not at all. You didn't sound like an ass at all. I just didn't, I, I read it, and the way I read it didn't come off as a joking way, so I really wanted to make sure that, like, there's a difference between, like, you know, like, text and then reading it out, and me reading it in a way that's not necessarily in a joking manner. Because sometimes it's hard for me to gauge if something's a joke, too, if I'm just reading it while also trying to play a game. So, no, no, no. I just want to make sure there's no confusion, that's all. It's been all day breeding a Ragnarok with speed skills. Ooh, nice. People also tend to gravitate towards the content makers they like, regardless if someone else has made a similar video before. Yeah, and I had to get over that for a long time. I refused for years to make videos that I saw other content creators make because I wanted to make sure that all of my content was uh, was original. So I there's so many videos that I never made in the past, and I actually just did my community a disservice because at the end of the day, every one of us content creators are playing a game, and regardless of how you play, like I'll. You can only play the game one way if you want to play it efficiently. So it took me a long time to get over that whole thing of uh, of covering all the content in the game rather than just the things that I could do in a unique way. Because at the end of the day, I'm just like, I'm not giving the community that actually wants to everything all the information that I possibly could give them. If I could put Fireball on Fox Parks, would I? I have. <laughs> it's fun. Uh, I don't like long cooldown uh, cooldown skills though. Cool, uh, YouTube's being poop restarting the stream tonight. Um, I think that's actually my internet. I have about four point five percent dropped frames right now. I have Spectrum internet. It's not the best. Uh, I often struggle. Oh, 
one more tip. Know your target audience and their age. If the average is 30 to 40, don't act like a 12 year old. The unfortunate thing about that is I'm pretty, I'm, I'm 90% sure at this point that, uh, your demographics are all, I'm pretty sure every live service to include YouTube is fudging their numbers on that stuff. Actually, I'm going to restart OBS. Y'all are going to see the screen go black for a second. Uh, I think it's actually OBS having a problem, not Spectrum. I'm going to restart OBS. You're going to see the screen go black. You're going to see a loading, uh, like a little bit of a loading. Um, you're going to need to refresh, but I'm going to stop real So many boomers also playing this game. Me, myself, as a fan of Pokemon from day one. Oh, yeah. All right, we should be back. Uh, refresh if the stream isn't live. I had to restart OBS. A lot of people also don't watch with the audio, so. <sighs> getting a lot of ads. Should only shouldn't be getting that many ads. Ooh. Nope. OBS is uh not the culprit. It is Spectrum. You gotta be kidding me. <clears throat> All right, what is going on? I'm trying to let OBS or Spectrum or whatever it is get their life together here real quick. All right, maybe second OBS restart will fix it. Yeah, seems to be good. Okay. Might have also been because I accidentally had TeamViewer open. Uh, especially every, essentially everything has to be perfect at my house for me to be able to stream. Like Spectrum has to be running perfect. Literally everything has to be running perfect or uh, I have problems. <laughs> Fangalope is the only way to travel. Fangalope is pretty freaking fire, honestly. Uh, that's actually what we're working on breeding right now in the base. When's that move happening? Um, as soon as I can. I still have repairs going on in the house uh, from an issue that we had a few months ago. Um, builders are taking absolutely forever and, quite frankly, not doing a good job either, uh, which is super unfortunate. Um, but basically, I need to do that. Need to figure out where I want to be, but also need to be able to, you know, put this house on the market, move out I'm slowly but surely, trying to sell a bunch of stuff so I can um, reduce the amount of things that I have and uh, and work on getting ready to move. How's the internet where I'm moving to? Wherever I move to is going to have good internet again. I'm getting out of Georgia. Georgia's a cesspool for internet. Um, but essentially, I will uh, will be making sure to not go anywhere that does not have fiber again. I was told by every by three ISPs that they could offer more than what they actually could before I moved in, and then the second I moved in, um, actually it wasn't until they were installing it where the technician was there and actually told me what they could offer rather than everybody I called. Um. Georgia's not that bad. I've lived in Georgia off and on for 10 years. It is one of the worst states I've ever lived in. And I've lived in about 20 different states. Live anywhere else if you can. Bow, bow, bow. Love Colorado. That's not really the worst. It's, uh, everywhere has its ups and ups and downs. Think we'll go to Ohio? Ohio? No. I, uh, no. Not Illinois. All right, we need to go find some celery. I don't know. I don't know how I got so distracted with hang you and stuff. Mm 
Damn. All places have their ups and downs. It doesn't really matter at the end of the day. Favorite state to live in? Internet not being a factor? Hmm... a good question. Let me think about that for a second. Um, ooh, okay, here we go. We need a couple of these. Not enough cake. Hit up Mr. Mux, Musk and get the super speeds? Man. <laughs> Wait, why is that a Verdash? Wait, what? Oh, I did a dumb. Oh, god dang it. How did that happen? Swift and Muscle. So a chickpea does make one, but not with a Cinemoth. It makes it with a with a Sibilix, a King Pack, a, uh Can we make a Fanglope with a Verdash? Oh, I cannot believe I did that. Uh, so a Loot Moon, a Loot Moon will make one. Oh, that was that was brutal. So we got a cell array with runner, and that's not what we wanted. Do we have a good loot moon? We have one with no skills. We got ferocious. You know what? That'll work. If we can get ferocious, muscle head, and swift. Ooh, we got work slave on there too. And nimble. Oh my god. Interesting. Okay. And that just works out perfectly. Can you not? Dude. Bro. Home skillet. Oh my lord. It's Dunce Cap time? No, it worked perfectly. Look, sometimes in life. Things happen, okay? Ah, Nordhazen, thank you. Loop Moon, get back here. So my goal is to... Lexara built us this amazing house. Uh, we're trying to make her a amazing Fanglope. And uh, I think we're, we're doing pretty good here. So if we can get... I want, it's going to be a strong Lope, too. So we got Swift and Musclehead and Ferocious on here. So we'll have Swift, Musclehead, Ferocious, and Runner. Now we could go crazy and get Legend on there instead, but we haven't caught any Legendary things for that yet. I really wish Blaze Mutt would stop sleeping on the job. So you have one job and it's enjoyment. Lay some eggs, buddy. Yeah, happy little accidents. We're just living our sweet, sweet um, Bob Ross lives today. Artisan and destructive. You know what? I'll take it. And then do we have any cake? We have two cake. I need to put a Jormantide Ignis down in here too. Do I not have any on me? What did I do with them? Huh. So I'll use a blazy boy then. Mm. A 
hoping you can prioritize uh, pals' jobs. That would be nice. And the stream was doing really good there, and then it died. I don't know if we're ever going to actually get back to where we were. Spectrum can eat my ass. Literally the worst ISP I've ever used. If I could get Legend on that Fungi Boy, which I replaced Runner or Ferocious, I would replace Ferocious. Um, if we were going for more movement speed, I would place Runner if we're just going for more attack. So there's an option for both for sure. Um, Alright, so we need to go get more Celeray. And then we're just going to try and catch like five or ten more. If we, if we don't have any luck with those, then we're just going to be done with the Celeray. Oh, thank you, George. What pal sphere should you use on Blasma? The best ones you got. Because it doesn't matter. Just go as high as you can go. If you got legendary spheres, that's what you should be using. Because they're still hard to catch even with those. The problem with Spectrum is they say they offer fiber speeds, but they're one of those companies that say they have fiber and they don't actually have fiber. They offer you fiber download, which is like one gig, but it's not actually on fiber. It's not using a fiber cable. They're still using old copper cables from like 50 billion years ago. And uh, they don't have upload speeds that are uh, anything anywhere near good. So they're actually lying to you. If you if Spectrum is saying that you have fiber, 90% chance you do not have fiber. You have copper cables that they've shoved as much download speed down its throat as possible. My spectrum is a gig down, 40 up. I see about 800 down and 35 up. Yeah, that's that sounds about right. Yep, fiber to the node, then it all goes to poop because you split it with everyone else on the node. Yeah, you split it with everyone else on the node, and it's just, it's not even fiber to the house. <laughs> Switched to AT&T for fiber. Loved it. Four months later, had to move a whopping three blocks away. AT&T fiber stops between there and... Oh, no. Oh, that's a big bummer. Ugh. No, they don't even have uh, fiber up to the house, Taylor. It's fiber to 90% of the time with Spectrum and any of the other, like... Uh, like local ISPs, they offer quote unquote fiber, but it's like fiber to the node and then copper down the roads to the houses. So it's uh it's not fiber to the house. The only I've only seen two companies that actually do fiber to the house, and that's AT and T and Google. I haven't had any other service provider yet do fiber all the way to the house. And fiber inside the house. So AT&T and Google both did fiber to the house and inside the house because you'll have a completely different box. Essentially, if you have a coax, a coax line coming out of your wall, you don't have fiber. You have whatever company is calling it fiber. They've got fiber internet with a PH, exactly. Where are all the celery? Google? Yeah, Google has a uh, has fiber internet. It's only in main metropolitan areas. Ooh. Yeah, you have your ISP laying fiber. Yeah, a lot of ISPs will lay fiber to your house, but you have to pay for it. More often than not, it's not very cheap. All right, where are all the celery? Ginger, sweet baby Jesus. 
Thank you so much. I got Cox Cable, and no, I'm not joking on the name. <laughs> it's all so bad. They're legit in a fight with Twitch and streaming. They say you can get fiber speeds and have you pay for it, but nope. I have constant intermittent connection issues. I feel you so hard on that. It's yeah, it's it's really really bad. I've I've heard of Cox Cable before. I've heard of how bad it is. Oh, that's rough. I'm so sorry, but I have to deal with Spectrum, so I can only be so sorry because I'm like in that fight with you. With MetroNet, we offer 10G. Well, I don't think I got that here. All right, I don't think we're getting any good celery today. I think we might have to be happy with the uh, the Anubises that we can currently make. <laughs> Clearly you should just swap back to carrier pigeon speeds. Far superior. You know, sometimes I genuinely think a carrier pigeon would be more efficient than Spectrum. I need cake. Are those companies still in business? It's because they have a monopoly on most suburban areas. No competition means they don't have to give a flying thwack. And the crazy thing is, is all of the, uh, the service providers, they share all the same lines, all the same old lines that are there. Uh, so even if you get WoW, Spectrum, what other crappy suburban internet is, they all share the same line. Um, so they're all just making money hand over foot. Ooh, we got Runner and Work Slave on that Blazamut. Okay. Fang loop. Swift, musclehead, and ferocious. On the first try? What the f... Alright, what bad thing's gonna happen to us the rest of the stream? Something bad's gonna happen. Oh my lord. So we got Swift, Musclehead, and Ferocious. No, no, it's an oligarchy. They collude to have the same prices, so we pay and they give us shit. It's total BS. Yeah, no, that's exactly how it is. So, uh, yeah, most of your ISPs, they all have, they all run off the same the same cable. So they all profit off of it, and they all make sure that they have the same exact prices. It's all, it's all, it's all pretty terrible. Okay, let's see here. We need artisan, but we got we got work slave here. So we need to t hold on. Let's see if this new blaze mutt that has work slave is a male. This one's a male. We need to swap these out because then we can get some work slave. Get the friggity you motherless goat. No, go make my cakes. Surprised you don't have a frost alley in it. <laughs> Lixar also caught one of those last night. She was determined. She was like level 35 again. I should probably go catch one. Do we want to catch a Frost Alien? I know we're doing a lot of base breeding right now. Uh, we need to also be setting that up. We got Artisan and Destructive. You've made all the cakes already. Let's go to here. Hmm. 
Luxara's OP. She's so unbelievably good at games. She's very, very stubborn when it comes to something that she, she wants and is very good at figuring out how to get it done. Um, probably the only person I've seen more stubborn than I am. And I'm pretty freaking stubborn. Mm -mm -mm -mm. You know what? It doesn't even matter. I'm just going to put all the Blazy Boys down here. Even though they have Slacker, they're still going to do a great job. Yep. So yeah, for those of you that wonder what my favorite mining pal is, my favorite mining pal is actually Blazemut. You can actually get these relatively early if you try really hard. It's not that bad. You don't actually have to fight the alpha boss to get Blazemut early. Uh, we can go out and actually capture one now if we want, but Blazemut, it's so good. It doesn't get stuck. It looks freaking cool, but the main bonus to, uh, to Blazemut, uh, we are cucumbered so bad. Like, they're magnificent at mining because they're level 4 mining. They look cool. They don't get stuck. Yeah, they sleep through the night, but they mine so fast that the chance of you having rocks at night anyways is incredibly slim. Which means they're not going to get depressed. They're not going to run low on sanity. They're not going to get injured. Now, I do have some pals here that have sprains depressed and, and things like that. And that's because I actually was AFK last night with no food or beds. You don't have to fight the boss to get Blazemut. No, you don't. You don't at all. Uh, but the reason that I love Bla Blazemut as my mining pal is it's level 4 mining, which means you can get to level 5 if you condense them enough. They're super easy to breed for, super easy to catch. And they have level four, level 3 kindling. So if I don't have an Ignis or I don't want to fill up my base with an Ignis, I can still queue up other things to craft and my Blazemuts will take care of it. Whereas if you look at Astagon, he has level one handy, he has level one handiwork and level four mining. No transportation, no kindling. Is going to stay up at night. Probably going to get stuck. Probably not going to eat. Is going to end up depressed and doing half the amount of work. And is way bigger. Gets stuck way more often. So what I like doing is I like taking four Blazemuts and four Anubis. That way I still have the level 3 mining on the Anubis. I have the hand thing here. And I have the transporting. Which means all four of these and all six of these are going to basically combine to mine up your entire base incredibly fast. All of your resources are going to be picked up. And everything is just going to run really, 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 really smooth. If you breed condensed pals, will the child also be condensed? No, no, not at all. Could not be farther from the way that it works. So condensing and enhancing through the Statue of Power uh, does not transfer down the line. Um, I'm here. Uh, not sure why y'all. Refreshing fixed it. Yeah, that's, that one was weird. That one was not me. Uh, I saw there was no issues with OBS. That was completely just YouTube. You're scared to go to the sanctuaries? Really? Don't be scared to go to the, shank the sanctuaries. We'll do it right now. I'll show you how friendly the sanctuaries are. They're really not that bad. Quite frankly, I recommend going to sanctuaries as soon as possible. I was also afraid to go to the sanctuaries. One, because I didn't know exactly what they were going to be doing. But two, because I wanted to live stream going to the sanctuaries. But the sanctuaries are really great. What? If you want to get a Blazemut early, 
and quite frankly, a lot of really good pals. You can go to the northwest corner of the map, so this sanctuary right up here. This is going to spawn Blazemut, Astagon, Shadowbeak, and Lilene, I think, also spawn up here. Just fantastic. Fanglope spawn up here. A lot of really great creatures spawn on this particular island. And I know I haven't covered the sanctuaries in any video. I really probably should cover them more. Did I say northwest? Yeah, northeast. My bad. Chest from sanctuary is not lucky. Look, I haven't slept in days, all right? North, south, east, and west. You can see it on the map. It doesn't matter what direction it is. It's in the corner of the map that I showed. Words are all made up. It doesn't matter. You need sleep? Yeah, no, I have not slept. I slept... I slept three hours last night, four hours last night, so I was trying to get... Oh, God. I was trying to get the server working. I was trying to get caught up on content. Um... I was trying to get progress on this, and then I recorded, I started recording two videos last night. All of my videos got corrupted. It's been a rough couple of days, to be honest. So yeah, <clears throat> oh, and there's OBS crashing again. Or not OBS, Spectrum. Snap, you don't have to happen to be downloading anything on the internet, are you? By chance? If anything Steam related happens, uh, Spectrum shits the bed. Like, not even like an Amber Heard solid turd, it's like diarrhea everywhere. I'm not even on your internet. Oh my god. So I'm trying to let Spectrum catch back up. All right. If it's not that, what could possibly be causing OBS to be acting like this? The server's full. We're not using a lot of internet from the server. It's just got to be... Let me do a speed test real quick. Maybe I need to restart my modem, but that would mean crashing the server or everything. <sighs> Can't catch a break, I swear to God. Oh, yeah. Alright, Spectrum is just doing really, really not good right now is the problem. Alright, I'm going to lower my bitrate, um, which should fix it for now. We basically have half as much internet speed as we should. So, something's going on with Spectrum. All right, now that I lowered the bet rate, we should be okay. Oh, Kato, come slap him in the face for me, Kato. Also, if y'all haven't followed Kato, highly recommend it. Uh, Kato is a absolutely wonderful content creator, also playing Pal World at the moment and uh, creating great videos for it as well. Your videos are popping off right now, Kato. Like, I'm super freaking excited for you. Let me do a link, Kato. Oh, wait, there's a new Kato now? Who is this? Now there's a Kato and a console Kato. How confusing. Look at you! Man. Do I need to get a cute pal to come curb stomp your internet? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Mother of God, Cox just as bad. Turns uh, Steam off fully because as long as Steam is running, it kills your internet. Yup. All right. So for those of you unfamiliar with sanctuaries, there's a couple different things you can do when hunting pals at the sanctuary. <gasps> we just got shadow beak. I want to actually tame the shadow beak. Um, I have some I have 30 ultra spheres. I have not gotten a single shadow beak on this playthrough yet. 
Um, all right, what is our catch rate for a 42 Shadow Beak? 9%. We can catch it. I'm a brave little toaster. So the downside of this island is everything is going to be in the level 40s, but if you're playing on a dedicated server, this seems to work better on a dedicated server than it does solo. If you hit things in the back, you get a back bonus. Uh, but also, they don't attack you. And I don't know why that is. I know on solo, I think... Solo and Xbox, you're going to get attacked. But for some strange reason, on dedicated servers on Steam, you can just do a back attack bonus and you can get really good pals by coming to these sanctuaries early. And just, just using any... Whatever highest ball you have... And just do back attacks until you catch him. It's kind of broken. You can do damage to him too. Uh, but Ultra Balls or Ultra Spheres or whatever you want to call them are going to be really good for these Sanctuaries. Uh, but now we can actually show how to respawn things on the, on the Sanctuaries. They're pretty small. You have two levels. You have a level down here. This is where your Blaze Mutts are going to spawn. We also got some Blaze Mutts right there. The Blaze Mutts and Astagons are rare spawns. So if you're wanting to get one that's not the alpha boss and you want to get one earlier in the game, this is where I recommend doing it. Do th we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to hit him right in the butt until we capture him. Try and capture the lower level ones if you're a lower level because uh, you're going to have a higher chance. And just do it. They will recognize you if you wait too long. So the trick is to just continuously throw balls at their butt as quick as possible before they aggro you. Oh, shoot. What? Because they still will. Is this the one at the top of the map? Yeah. There we go. First blaze much. 100%. We got Flame Emperor, Runner... Ooh, and Nimble on there. Destructive, not great. But Runner and Nimble, I'll take it. I could breed into a lot of different things. Yeah, blaze are also one of the most powerful pals in the game. I, I know it's not much. Oh, it's Zeri's. It's more than enough. I hope this helps you get a Red Bull and Luxara get a Watermelon Red Bull. Thank you so much. That's exactly what we need for both of those things. I'll have a Red Bull right now. Thank you. This is the one at the top of the map. Yeah. All right, we've got a couple more Ultra Spheres. You found three Gumasas with beautiful flowers on their head, and I wish I could name them. Aw, those are the special ones. I've never seen one. There we go. Flame Emperor and Vanguard. All right, so, but... The trick with the Sanctuary Islands to get them to respawn is... Oh, there's a Lylene right there. So definitely capture those Lylenes if you see them. But the trick to be able to respawn creatures here is you kind of go up to the top of the island here where these, I guess I'm calling them spikes. They're not very spiky, uh, but that's what I'm going to call them. <laughs> uh, but you just go to the kind of to the top of these. You can also find chests on here. There's a chance to drop legendary schematics and you can make money. There's a chest right there. They're going to spawn kind of in like the little nooks and crannies of these spikes as well as kind of down on those things that are going into the water. They'll spawn on top of those. So if you're looking for any type of chests or items or anything, you can get schematics, sapphires, things to make money. But really the main reason of doing this is as you go up there, you can go back down onto the island and it'll respawn all of the pals. So if you're looking for a specific pal, rather than just waiting and murdering them all, you can actually just get them to respawn, which is the same way that you would do it in a dungeon. You just have to you have to go outside of their render distance. Going up there is pretty quick. Or just going around and doing like a, a lap around the island looking for chests will also get all of the creatures to respawn. For some reason, I found a horde of Suzaku Aqua. Uh, what, in the, the snow biome? And I'm the little devil on your shoulder who's drinking. Have something on me. Peach lemonade vodka for the win. Oh, you know what? I got some Jack Daniels right here. I'll have Jack Daniels and Red Bull. A great combination. 
Don't you get in trouble to be in the sanctuaries? Only if you attack the humans. Mm -hmm. And they're right there. So the other thing about the sanctuaries is you can get in trouble. You'll notice that since we've only been flying here, we haven't gotten in trouble. But if we hop off and step foot, criminal activity is underway. You do not get that alert unless you hop off your pal. And the only way you can really get out of that alert is if you go anywhere near the humans. So we can go on them on our mount and we've been spotted and now we are trespassing. So the trick of the trade is don't get off your mounts ever and you'll never get trespassing. If you do get off your mount, avoid the humans. And Ginger, thank you so, so very much. Sir, no what? Don't combo that? You know what? No, I had somebody argue with me the other day. It's like, why would you do a vodka and Red Bull if I like drinking whiskey? And you know what? That was a solid point. Because quite frankly, the Red Bull is going to overpower whatever you drink. It really doesn't matter. If I like drinking whiskey and I've been drinking it anyways, then maybe I should just keep doing that. It's not that bad. Uh, Zarius, thank you for coming to Super Bean. Oh, and Corey, congratulations. Just brought out a brave hooligan, ferocious musclehead shadow beak. Nice. I do want to go check and see what our shadow beak. Oh, we have one on us. So somebody during the last live stream said that they're able to get rid of tras uh, trespassing by fast traveling to their base. I'm 99.9% .9 sure they're lying to me, and I'm 99% sure this is about to go bad for us. But we're going to try it anyways. We're going to go to a base that I don't mind being destroyed. And just like I thought. Oh, God, I can't. Wait, I can log out. I need to log out. And need to log back in real quick. We're still here. We just got to log out and back in. Oh, no. I don't have the IP saved anywhere. Well, butter my butt and call me a biscuit. Yeah, so there's two options, really three options to get rid of the trespassing. Huh? Really? That's odd. It's awkward. So yeah, there's, uh, there's basically two to three options that you can do to get rid of the trespassing. You can die. You can let them kill you. Take off your armor, let them kill you. Or you can use the respawn button, or you can log out and log back in. Those are the three most effective. People say that you can teleport, all that stuff. I've never seen that work. So it's respawn, die, or log in and log out. Uh, Corey, if you go to the, to the description, there's a link to the member's Discord. Uh, click that link, and it'll... Uh, You'll be able to join the Discord, then link your YouTube to Discord, and you'll be able to join in on everything. Misinformation campaigns everywhere for this game? Oh, yeah. Especially on TikTok. I watched some TikTok videos the other day, and I was like, oh, my God. Some of which were just stolen from me, which is always fun. But. So if you see any good videos on TikTok, they probably just got stolen from me and re-uploaded. <laughs> all of you know that stuff, though. That's happened with ha that's been happening with all the games recently. What area of the map is best for soul for mining? Right here. Pick up this fast travel point and just go here and be done with life. DMCA those bitches. <laughs> it's a Chinese company. They're not gonna do anything. I've tried.
You can drop aggro on the solo game. I believe that. I do not believe there's any way to drop aggro on a uh, dedicated server, though. I've tried everything. Ferocious and Musclehead. Okay. You can't outrun them. They respawn. It does not work on a dedicated server. Swift, Ferocious, and Artisan. Okay. Then we got Musclehead, Swift, Ferocious, and Artisan. I don't know what a Fang Lope's going to do with Artisan on it, but apparently all the things. Swift, Ferocious, and Musclehead. Nice, we got two of them. Hell yeah. Any pal can learn any move, but the problem is there is stab in the game, which means uh, same type added bonus or whatever it is. So if you have a fire type pal, they can learn every other ability in the game, but you're going to get a, I believe it's a 20% bonus to your damage if you use the type that they are. Pyra knocked is beautiful. I wish I had double jump too. Same take attack bonus to stab, yeah. I said added bonus instead of attack bonus. My bad. Runner and artisan. Now we're getting some good blazy boys. Alright, we can stop breeding this Verdash and Loopmon now. I believe we can stop... Well, we haven't gotten Work Slave on one yet. I do want to check what... Goodies we got on here. Wait, what? Huh. Did I... Did I screw this up somehow? There we go. Okay. Is there a triple jump on uh, Palladius? Yes. One of the legendaries. So it looks like we got a 20 on here, maybe. Ooh, just shy of a 20. Ooh, actually, much more shy than a 20 than I thought. The HP stuff still does not work right. Um, attack, we got 478 to 500. That's really bad. Not even going to bother. Four, ooh. All right, garbage beak. Got it. Oh my god, 497 and a 549. Wow, just really bad beaks all around. <clears throat> you got a level 45 Fuddler? You are the king of Fuddlers right now. Congratulations on like succeeding fully at life. Have I tried breeding a fanglope of a different color? I wish there were different colors. I wish there were breeding mutations. I really do. It would be awesome. But unfortunately, there are not. All right, so we have not gotten a work slave and artisan dude bro yet, have we? I want to just get an artisan on one and work slave on the other. I haven't gotten that yet either. We got Runner and Artisan. <laughs> Every shadow beak you've gotten from the sanctuary has been poo-poo. Mine too, actually. Actually, I cannot say every. I have gotten some good shadow beak. 
Uh, I caught, let me rephrase that. I caught one good Shadow Beak, not caught in a single good Blazemut from the Sanctuary. All right, we need more Blazy Boys. So we got Fanglope right now. So the, the question is, we got, we got some really, really good Fanglope. We got Swift, Musclehead, and Ferocious. We want... Musclehead, Swift, and Artisan on here. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, should we go catch a Frostalion? What do you think? What do you think? Thumbs up for Frostalion. We're not... We're level... We're level 42. Do we want a Frostalion at level 42? We need Legendary. That's what I'm thinking, too. <laughs> Do I not have Dude Bro on me? I don't have Dude Bro on me. Ooh, there's a lucky. What? It's a lucky Gelclaw, I think. How do you get a Fanglope again? There's a ton of different ways. If you want to capture one, you need to capture it on a uh, on the Sanctuary Island that we were just on. <laughs> Don't even know why you asked. Look, it's for the engagement, okay? Look, I try and get engagement the best way I can, and that's by not asking for it. I gotta be subtle. You're hoping that lucky sound was your game. Oh, buddy, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Why do my farm base pals not work while my other bases? Because the game is just not well optimized for things to work when they're not rendered in. They'll do certain things, um, but say if you're running a mining base, your pals will mine the ore, but they won't recognize the item dropping on the ground and pick it up and take it to a box, which is a big problem. Oh, Fanglope also do spawn down there. That's a good point. Thank you. That's actually a really good point. All right. We need to, we need to get some stuff out of our inventory right now. Things are a bloody freaking nightmare right now. Do you know if the non-alpha versions of Palladius and Necromus can fit in the dungeons? I, uh, I would I would use a Fanglope over them because you don't need triple jump in dungeons. Uh, Fanglope, I know for sure can. I believe they might clip into the ceilings of certain parts, but for the most part, they should be okay. Hex and Toffee, thank you for coming to Bean. Welcome to the community. Thank you very much. Oh boy, boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright, so we got refined ingots. I need palladium fragments. Shadow Beak's amazing for dungeons. Honestly, yeah, Shadow Beak, Shadow Beak is prime dungeoning material. It's got one of the best abilities in the game. Uh, it's honestly one of the pals that I want to make a good version of the most. So I actually need a Kitsune and I need a good Astagon. I have not gotten to start breeding up my Kitsune yet, but I will. I basically have to redo that whole video that I was working on. I'm super butthurt about it. Eggs. I need eggs.
Effigy still bugged, yeah. Until you download an update, just know that it's bugged. Once you download something, chances are it might be fixed. Is Kitsune good? Yeah. You know, Kitsune's amazing, honestly. Kitsune is an amazing mount. Ah, uh, shoot. Everything despawned. Dang it. Either everything despawned or the server is dying. Everything despawned. God dang it. Sky, what'd it do? I might have to adjust that. Isn't there a limit to how many drops? Yeah, so I've uh, I've decreased the amount of drops that can be on the ground to 500 for uh, server optimizations, uh, which has actually improved a ton. The problem being, if you have a whole bunch of people mining at once um, and you don't have your palace collecting it, when you despawn it, it all disappears. Um, so the way the, the, the server will hold stuff... Uh, but then if you do something that de-slow, you'll get like a local save of things. And then if you leave and come back, that despawns it. So you have like a, both a, a, a local and a server like spawn capability. What are my ideal saves? So it's like a legend, muscle head, ferocious, and swift is what I would go for. Uh, Joe, you need a super bean or above for the community servers. Yeah. And we'll be launching uh, launching a new server tonight for anybody that wants to to get a fresh start on a boosted server. We're doing boosted servers all week for people that want to join in. This is a new bug. I've never seen this one before. On my G portal server, my pals only work from near the base. Is that normal? Yes, because if you despawn a pal, then it doesn't exist anymore. Uh, so it exists while you're there. It will not exist if you are not there. No Lord of the Underworld for Shadowbeak? Why would I take a 20% increase when I can already get a 20% increase from something else? Do you want to stack Lord of the Underworld on there instead of Swift? Sure, but I, I still want to be able to ride it. Uh, Joe, thank you for coming to Super Bean. That was probably one of the best bugs I've ever seen in this game. All right, it's nighttime. We need to do... Y'all wanted us to get a Frost Alien. It's nighttime, which means we're going to go tame a Frost Alien real quick. Also, ladies and gentlemen, we've got 1,200 people watching and 400 likes. I know hitting the like button is the most difficult thing in the world. But it helps out, and I hate it. Asking for it as much as you hate hearing it, so. If you'd be so kind as to just watch the stream and do nothing, I'd greatly appreciate it. Alright, we need a dude bro. One dude bro to rule them all. Do I have all of my dude bros doing things right now? No way. Oh, son of a... I heard somewhere that pals get a 20% bonus to damage to the skills of their natural element. Do you know if that's true? It's called a stab bonus, yes. It's the same type attack bonus. Um, so if you have a fire pal and you're using a fire skill, you're going to do 20% more damage. Um, 
it's not multiplicative damage though. It's just twenty percent more. So like, so say you have a Palladia or a a Dark Pal, and you put Lord of the Underworld on there. Lord of the Underworld does twenty percent more damage, but it's no difference between twenty twenty percent elemental damage and twenty percent attack damage. So if you can get Ferocious, there's no reason to bother with getting like an elemental damage increase. Unless you want to stack more element, like more damage on top of it. Oh, I guess I'm not the only one going for a uh, for a frost alien. Look, I got 13 balls. All right, I got 13 balls and a and a goal in life, and I don't even have the fast travel point, so. It doesn't sound like I'm getting a Frost Alien tonight. Oh, I think they killed it already. Alright. Shoot. Basically, Ferocious is straight up better than any el elemental passive. Yeah. Ferocious is the same or better. This is literally... The, the whole point of elemental passives just don't make any sense. One is still up. Ooh, I'm on my way. I got 13 balls in a dream, ladies and gentlemen. 13 balls in a dream. Stab isn't copyrighted by anyone, dot, dot, dot. You're right, it's not. You want to know who made it up? The people who play video games. Not a fucking company. Want to be sassy with your Pokemon dick sucking? Really, even bonuses of different types, say bonuses of all damage versus specific element, are additive. Um, yeah, there's not a lot of multiplicative uh, increases. I believe the only. Th there are a couple multiplicative things, but as far as I'm aware, elemental damage versus attack damage, there's no multiplicative change between the two. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Bow, 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 bow. The amount of people that ride a freaking giant company's dick is absolutely insane. They all need to like get over it and just a game. If this game is good, just play it. You know, don't have a corporate loyalty. It's so stupid. I'm going the wrong direction. Ooh, oh. That sucked. All right, so we're not getting a uh, a frost stallion. <sighs> you need a level three cold resistance. I like how everyone somehow has a law degree since the last two weeks. Well, everyone, the great thing about humans is they all think they're the coolest thing that has ever existed. And that uh, everything they watch on TikTok and all of the uh, the people that specifically make money off of making other people angry is the best place to get knowledge and don't bother, you know, doing research for themselves. And, uh... So the great age of misinformation, because everybody's lazy. Ooh! Oh! Oh! Oh, this game just made me want to have its baby! Oh my god! 
that's probably the luckiest chest that I've ever ha had. Like the Power World gods just freaking. Oh, oh my lord. Got a plus two underwear right when I needed it. I used all the luck for the next year, pretty much. Insane RNG, absolutely ridiculous. Roll the 20 on that one for sure. Shoot. Forgot that your pals don't eat out of your bag when you're riding on them for some strange reason. No butt stallion, but here's some undies. Brian, you're cool. We're all cool in our own ways. We all suck in our own ways, and we're all interesting and weird in our own ways. That's the great thing about people. Plus, imagine if we were all perfect. Imagine how boring life would be. Too dangerous to eat while flying. Safety first. You know, Ryan, I like the way you think. I like the way you think. It's cooler to be weird. 100%. If y'all are scared of weird people, you're just afraid of what other people will think. And you know what? That's a dumb way to live life. Weird people are the spice of life. And you might very well find something that you enjoy. I fed the bird feed myself. I'm at 50% food. I'm Gucci. Stamp is tag being a good host and offering more than Hot Pockets. Oh, shut up, Bree. I literally, as I walked downstairs, I said you have free access to the fridge and all the Hot Pockets in the freezer. Okay? Look, I have Hot I work 15 to 18 hours a day. Who has time for anything other than Hot Pockets? It's all the main food groups in one. You get full off of one or two. God dang it. What are you judging me out here? Curious to hear your thoughts, explanation for Gale Claw being worthy of one of your pal slots for the glider. Uh, so, Scott, I have played about 350 hours of this game, and uh, about 300 hours of them, I've been the base bitch, uh, which means I don't leave base. So, my logic behind it is uh, I like being able to move fast when I can, and having Gale Claw in my party allows me to move around the base faster. So, if I'm going to be stuck somewhere, I'm going to do it quick. And I don't have a better reason than that, so, uh, yeah. Sorry, the base human. The house mouse, whatever we want to call it. Oh! Frostallion. It's not sleeping anymore, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, what about hang you? I don't know. 
I do have one. I'll, I'll make a saddle thing. All right. A 0% chance. Yeah. My ass, there's a 0% chance. Okay, there might be a 0% chance. Why is there a 0% chance? There should be, for a back bonus, there should be more than that. It should be a 1%, at, like a 0.5% chance at least. Hmm. The plot doth thicken. Do I have... I was using the wrong pal sphere. Thank you! 2% baby! So you're saying there's a chance. 2%. Get in the ball. You dirty little horse. Get in the ball. Don't let me. Don't make me spank you. Get in, get, in, get in the ball. Get in the ball. Just, just get in the ball. I should have kept trying blues. You know what? I got one hypersphere. Point four one percent chance. Come on, give me a shake. Nothing. I got eight more balls left. Eight balls in a dream. It really needs to move. Forgotten wish. Thank you for coming. If I if I do this, it's gonna go inside the wall. So what are the chances I use shockwave and lightning streak? And then maybe another shockwave. Get a shock bonus. I missed. <gasps> Don't be like Bran Stark. Zig and zag. Eight balls in a dream. A streetwalker story. Oh no. Forgotten Wish, thank you for becoming a Super Bean again. I'm waiting for the day when Lexar goes after something with a 0.05% chance and gets to the first try. You know what? I've seen it happen already. That woman is the most stubborn human I have ever seen in my entire life. The amount of times we've been on Discord and I've been doing random things and she's like, oh, 0.05% chance. <laughs> That means there's a chance. And then I hear a squeak of happiness. Absolutely ridiculous. The Mamores catch was insane. Yeah, she did it during a live stream the other day with a basic ball. Caught a freaking level 38 Mamores with one freaking ball randomly. Like, how? Yeah. Oh, God. Oh. The mammo catch was insane. Yeah, it's the the luck that woman has has. Oh my god. I should be doing this while it's sleeping. I I'm 99% sure there is actually like a sleeping sleeping counts as a stun. Uh, so there is a unforeseen bonus to your catch rate. Oh, Obzi. Oh no. Get in the ball. I got one ball left. I got one ball in a dream, baby. One ball in a dream. God dang it. Game doesn't give a shit about dreams. You need to open magic cards? I do, actually. 
Shut up, Wumpo. Freaking watching me fail at life. I'm coming back when it's sleeping. <clears throat> the Lance Armstrong of dreams. Oh. oh, my God. I haven't heard a Lance Armstrong joke in a hot minute. One ball in a dream. The Lance Armstrong story. <laughs> that's gonna be. That's gonna be the title of the uh, of the YouTube short. If I ever catch something with a really low catch chance, with one ball left, which I have done many times in this game, I'm pretty sure there's a one ball bonus. Yeah. <laughs> the Lance Armstrong bonus confirmed. Oh, no. I'm stuck. God. <sighs> we all have problems. Joel Hogg stress eating. A pal after my own heart. Anubis, Jamaica. Ooh, I wanna take you. I got some eggies. They keep despawning. Cause we can only have 500 items on the ground at a time and there's 32 people playing, which means there's not a lot of items that can be dropped per player. I probably need to change that cause it really hasn't helped the lag on the server. I'm gonna change it right now. I can crash the server and fix it. I'll have to, uh, so all bosses respawn every day. Why are you sleeping? I will light you on fire. You have sex one time and you got to take a nap? One time. Ooh, I want to take you. Boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. They're both napping. Don't give me that typical man stuff. They were both napping, okay? <laughs> Same, though. <laughs> Relatable. <laughs> Look, there's nothing better in life. Look, okay. Sex is great and all, but a nap after sex might be the best thing in the world. the best nap you'll ever have. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Oh, I swear to God, you make me chase you down every single time. What? This is why I have Gale Claw. Oh my God. What the heck? Stop! You trying to do sexy time after eating a whole cake? Okay, that's fair. It's a diabetic coma right there. Definitely need a cigarette afterwards. Oh my god. Alright, we need more cake. More cake, better person. I can make one. I'm about to curb stomp some chickens. I'll tell you what. How is your base so big? Uh, Lexaro left me alone at 4 a.m., woke me up, looked me in the eyes, and said, I can't stop thinking about Pow World. I got to go build our base, and then left me, and then built the base. That's how we have such a big base. She, I'm pretty sure she used up every ounce of space. It's amazing. Ooh. What? God dang it, I'm on fire. My body's on fire. That's what Smug would do and probably will do. Touching grass is overrated. Don't do it. 
Stupid question. Why not make it weaker while trying to catch? Is there a benefit? Uh, it's because it's going to clap my cheeks. If I fought it at the level I'm at with the pals that I have, it would bend me over and have its way with me. I wouldn't even get a cuddle afterwards. Not even a high five. It would have its way with me and then walk away and go murder somebody else. Some people are in that. Look, I'm not kink shaming. It's just. You know, I'm looking for that right now. Oh, God dang it. Well, since I'm cucumbered, I might as well stay cucumbered. Why do my stream show a commercial? Because I don't want to live in the woods again, all right? I've been homeless twice in my life. I'd prefer not to be homeless again. So, if, you know, if you care about the homeless, no, <laughs> this game is bad for my cravings to uh, to bake a cake. YouTube added ads to uh, live streams a long time ago. I think it's like every 20 to 30 minutes or something like that. That's what it should be. I know it's been more, but that's what it's supposed to be. They've been changing it up a lot doing testing, I guess. Hey, third time the charm, so they say? Exactly. Still better than Twitch? Oh my, I cannot watch Twitch anymore. The ads are so bad there because they're so long. They're not skippable. I do not watch Twitch anymore because anytime I even want to even have contemplate the idea of checking out somebody that I've never seen before, I have to watch the longest ad in the history of ads. It's really, really bad. At least here you have to watch like 5 to 15 seconds or something before you can skip it. And it's always of some other stupid streamer that's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to sell this product real good for the next five minutes. But I mean, to be honest, like some of the best ways to like support creators is obviously like, like you don't even have to watch the whole ad. Just watch a couple seconds of it, then skip it. Hit the like button every once in a while. And uh, I mean, I don't, I don't take on sponsorships. So the only way that I make money on YouTube is from ads. I don't take on sponsorships. I don't shill any products that I don't personally use and like, like support on my own. And whenever I do that, I don't actually make money for talking about it. Because it's something I use, and a company isn't going to pay you to use something you actually use because you're going to talk about it anyways. Um, so I don't take sponsorships. I don't do any of that. The only way I make money is from memberships and ads. <laughs> and trust me, I get offered so, so many garbage sponsorships. It's ridiculous. Oh, my God. No raid. Nope. I get offered Raid Shadow Legend sponsorships every week. For an amount of money that I could probably retire on over the course of the last four years. And I haven't taken a single one. Never get a random ad for Manscaped. Look, if you're going to shave your balls, you're going to do it already anyways, alright? You don't need me talking about it for five freaking minutes. That's why I don't take sponsorships either. It's like, okay... Like, the requirements for them are ridiculous. It's like, okay, it needs to be within the first two minutes of your video. And then you need to talk about it for, um, like, 30 seconds to a minute. And it's like, these people have watched all of these ads over and over and over and over for the last five freaking years. I don't need to spend half of my video talking about your whatever freaking product you have. Let me talk about it in the way that I want. And people will buy it if they need it. Like, I think, like, most advertisers are so out of touch with the way people, like, interact with any type of content nowadays. It's, it's, 
it's pathetic. And I just refuse to take, like, I, I will often reply with what my requirements are. And if they don't want it, then I just don't do it. And guess what? I, they don't ever want it. <laughs> uh, so I don't do sponsorships. What if I like listening to you tell people to shave their balls? Like, there's a lot of people out there that probably should, to be fair. Um, but that's besides the point. Okay, we got all the iron. We're going to make some regular ingots now. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Plus, most... I think a big problem is most uh, most people that are actually trying to like do advertising and like they're all kind of old. They don't understand new media nowadays. And we're trying to explain to them like how things should actually be advertised, like as far as like a live stream goes or anything like that. They just don't understand, and I just don't have the energy to deal with it. It's like all of this time that I've spent emailing you back and forth, I could have made as much money not dealing with you and just doing my job rather than deal with you. And so I just don't. So anyways, that's welcome to my TED talk about sponsorships. What? Mm -mm 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 -mm. I don't know if it's me, and to clarify, I'm on Xbox, but my second base do work when you are out, but everything you... S oh my god, is this English? Uh, yeah, I mean, if you're playing solo, like, it, it works, but it doesn't work. If you're on dedicated servers, it more often than not doesn't work, essentially. What's the worst spot? Oh my god. I <laughs> there was a point in time where I was offered uh so when Animal Crossing was big because, I mean, this company still reaches out to me for every video game that I play. Um, it was a, a, basically a company selling in-game items. Uh, they, they reach out for every video game. It's, it's absolutely ridiculous. But the problem is, if you do that with Nintendo, Nintendo will bend you over and destroy you. Um, but I was getting offered an obscene amount of money to sponsor this website that sells in-game items. And I was like, you know what? And my response to that was I set up islands to get all of these items for free. So please do not ever reach out to me again. And they still do, unfortunately, but. But it was, uh, I don't know if that's the worst one. Though. There's, there's so many bad ones. Though. It's like 30 emails a day of just garbage. I don't even check my email anymore. So we got some eggs. We can make a couple more cakes. I feel like I'm going to stop breeding Blazemuts until I kind of figure out exactly what I want after this one cake. Can I talk about how much money one of those companies offers at the time? Um, at the time, it was $10,000 for the month to do four advertisements. But this was like, you know, back when I was getting, you know... Streams were significantly larger than they were now. Than they are now, rather. Uh, but I don't do any of those. There's a lot of there's a lot of creators out there that do take them up on those offers, but I've never have, and I never will. If I tried breeding Begards. Uh, no. No, I'm, I don't really plan to either. Alright, what time is it? We've got... Alright, it's halfway through the day. So, Frostallion, we need to make more... We need to make more balls before we fight Frostallion. Why didn't I sell out? <laughs> Because the uh, the thought, like, multiple reasons. Like, one, morals. Two, um, would never do that. I'm already offering it for free to all of my members, so it doesn't make any sense. 
And then three, you've got the long arm of Nintendo out there just waiting to clap some cheeks and the thought of like losing my entire channel over something so stupid. Uh, I'm just not going to do it. Oh, hell yeah, Phantom Neos. That's amazing. What's the best stats needed for the dig toys, or does that matter? Um, no stats matter for dig toys, really. Just don't use it. If you're going to use it in your party, uh, the best way to make it do better is to pal condense it. So you'll need like a 116 uh, additional dig toys to make it better. I need Anubis for working the spheres. I know. Uh, I seem to have misplaced all of my Anubis, though. There's always Raid Shadow Legends. They've offered an absurd amount of money to be able to, to like to advertise for them, too, and I just I never will. So if you're watching, please don't send me any more emails. I've asked so many times. You keep hiring new companies. I'm really sick of getting the emails. Take me off whatever freaking mailing list you have. God dang. All right, so what do we need for more Sphere Boys? Like, I'll take a Hot Pocket sponsorship. I'll take a Taco Bell sponsorship. I'm going to talk about your product for free anyway. So if you're out there, I already advertise for you. So just hook me up with some food or something, you know? Feed me. Feed me. Food. I will I will shill out for food. Look, I'm fat. I'm hungry, and I want some food. I don't even need to get, just, just feed me, okay? Give me a Taco Bell black card. I talk about you all the time anyways. Gregory, thank you for the 10 gift memberships. <laughs> You're a scholar and a gentle person. I appreciate you. Man, a Taco Bell black card? I would die a happy man. And a whiskey sponsorship. Look, anybody, any any kind of whiskey person wants to, yeah. You tell those, <laughs> I'm a big fan of your bug spray. <laughs> closet wine. I should just make my own closet wine and sell it instead. All right, we need an Anubis. Unlimited Baja Blast. What, you want my heart to explode? I feel bad for Lex. She loves Taco Bell just as much as I do. In fact, possibly more. Anytime she goes home for like the, uh, like for breaks or anything, <laughs> There's Taco Bell cups and bags everywhere. All right? It's a perfect... It's either that or uh, Popeye's mashed potatoes. Powerade and Sprite make Baja Blast. I feel like that's maybe not true. I feel like maybe it's close to true, but probably not super duper accurate. <laughs> a black card with two of you <laughs> rip your plumbing. Look, Taco Bell's not that bad, okay? I know there's the whole joke of uh, explosive diarrhea with Taco Bell, but I've never personally experienced it, and I don't know anybody else who has. Unless you've already got IBS, then you know what? That's not Taco Bell's fault. That's your fault. Welcome to my Taco Bell TED Talk. I know all of you out there with a gluten or... Uh, or dairy intolerance still being like, you know what? Today I'm going to risk it. Today I'm going to shit my pants multiple times because I really want this cheese or I want this dessert or I want this bread. But that's not the company's fault. <laughs> it really isn't that bad, but the memes are priceless. 
Listen here, sir. The Taco Bell is worth the IBS suffering. You know what? I agree, okay? I got food poisoning from Taco Bell four times? Where are you going to Taco Bell? How did that happen? I don't think you got food poisoning. You might have IBS and you just don't know it. I've never gotten food poisoning from any fast food. You must be going to like the like the world's worst Taco Bell. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we got a blaze up with work slave. Okay, that's some progress. All right, so we got runner, artisan, and work slave. Okay, is the one we just got? Um, oh, oh, baby. Oh, baby, 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 baby. Get over here! You've got sexy time to do. Thank you. Boop. Two cakes. Can we get two really good dude bros out of there? That is the question. All right, we got 84 Ultra Spheres for catching a freaking Frost Alien tonight. <sighs> All right, we need to go out and get some more Shadow Beaks. We're going to do that until Frost Alien fun times happen. Anyone know what pal is best for wool mining? Uh, sheep thing or... Uh, or a crevice. Yeah. Is it me or is it just ridiculous how much spheres cost to make and you have to use like 10 plus spheres to catch one pal? Um, I recommend, Lewis, if you're playing solo, just increase your catch rate. There's a bug with the Lift Monk effigies right now uh, where they actually don't increase your catch rate. So uh, you should be able to get a 3x catch rate through effigies, but you can't right now. So I recommend if you are playing solo or on a server or you host a server, just increase your catch rate to three times. Uh, it's going to make your life better. And you're supposed to be able to get to that point anyways. You need to pronounce... I, oh, I always pronounce it all. Oh, crap me. Wee wee, crummy. I don't know how French people speak. I haven't heard a French person speak in a long time. French person spoke? Speak did? Wee wee, baguette. <laughs> oh, Lord hath mercy upon my soul. Where are all my freaking flappy boys? I gotta start over. On my the the twenty hours I spent making one video for a shadow beak IV transfer video, doing all the data testing, and now I don't have a single good shadow beak. I want to punch a baby in the face. <laughs> there was a convo about bad ISPs, and my net went out. Thanks, Cox. <laughs> Oh, no. The first thing that me and Lexara talked about this morning was the chance that I accidentally blow up the base that she worked all night on. You have 10 butt stallions, not a single female. Oh, my Lord. Well, you're playing on one of our servers. Like, I highly encourage everybody working together more. Like, if you've got something, somebody else on the server might got what you need, you know? Like, work together, bribe people, be like, you know what? I got this butt stallion with Swift on it. You got some metal? You got some Lego balls? Negotiate. We got to get a black market going up in here. Do, do, do. Boo, boo, boo. He no stuff spawning.
Lexar would kill you if you did that? Yeah, she woke up at 4 a.m. very excited about the possibility of making the base that she's always dreamed of. If I accidentally blew it up, I would be murdered in my sleep. And I know that. And she secretly knows that as well. She joked and like, she's, she was like, ah, you know what? I would probably just laugh if it happened. I've known her for way too long. I know she would not laugh at that. I know I would never, I would, it would be 30 years in the future. And she would be like, you know, that one time you blew up my base. That would be used against me for the rest of my life. I'm not stupid. I've been in the doghouse for a month now. For the rest of my every argument we've ever had, she's like, that one time you blew up my base. Bad guy for the rest of my life. Get in the ball, you stupid little deer thing. Thank you. Ooh, mine foreman. Okay. Yeah. It's not blowing up the base. It's inspired interior decorating. My mom walked in from work to you saying you wish to punch a baby in the face. The stare we shared was so tense and awkward. All I could do was smile. Oh, no. Look, not a real baby. Like a really annoying baby. Okay. You know, a hundred. Look, babies are super cute. I would never punch a baby in the face. Face. There's a chance I would punch the parent in the face sooner than I would punch a baby in the face. But you know, there's that one child out there that you're like, this child's an ass. It's going to grow up to be an ass. And if somebody doesn't punch this baby in the face, something bad's going to happen. You want to punch that one baby on the plane? Everybody who has ever been on a plane and been stuck near a baby... I know you wanted to punch that baby in the face. I know you did. You can't even lie. You can't even pretend like you're a good person. We know you wanted to. <clears throat> Tag just going down the baby punching hole. Nah. I love... Kids, you know, I would there. There's never a chance I would die sooner than hurting any kid. But doesn't change the fact that the thought kind of crosses your mind. It's like oh, that kid's being a real dick right now. You ever seen a child being an absolute monster to their to their parent? Pulling the whole, if you discipline me, I'm going to call ch SPS on you. And then the parent has no choice but to let the kid be an absolute freaking garbage human. Because there's literally nothing you can do. Because if you do anything nowadays, like you're just going to be destroyed in life. Yeah, you want to punch that kid in the face. <laughs> What's my favorite pal? I don't really have a favorite one. Anyways. Any tips from a pal fluid farm? Yeah, get a fang loop and stomp every tiny little water pal into the ground. My son used to say, I'm going to call the FDA. <laughs> Just slap him with a piece of meat. Oh, I've seen I've seen kids do that a, f a few times. Like, I don't think r kids in restaurants are naturally kind of going down that rabbit hole of I'm going to be a dick today, you know, because more often than not, the kids been getting fed, you know, it's probably it's probably, you know, about to pass out from being so full. Why can I not? 
It's because I wasn't actually paying attention to what I was doing. Uh, also, it might be an American... Oh, 100% American thing. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised if it's elsewhere, too, but, you know, we're pretty spoiled here nowadays. Uh, once when I was a cashier, uh, the kid was being... <laughs> turned around and called his mom. Oh my god. Mom yells at him and the kid goes, well, dad calls you it all the time. Oh no. Oh, that's 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 an unfortunate circumstance right there. That kid just did her dirty. Oh no, in Canada too. What? I want my fang a little thing. Oh, what am I? Uh, I'm hunting for shadow beaks right now. Uh, I really want a good shadow beak. Uh, I was working on breeding one, and the server died that we were playing on. So we're hunting shadow beak and blazemut until it's nighttime. Then we're gonna go hunt a frostalian. <laughs> Electric Juice, welcome. It's a dangerous name right there. It's like, how do you strike... You know what, like... You know, I come from a generation where, uh... You know, parents did lots of horrible things to their kids, but you know what? Sometimes striking the fear into my eyes is exactly what I needed. All we can do nowadays is like you can't even threaten to like not be able to go outside. It's like, oh, you know, take video games away. Like, what do you do? Man, catching fox sparks suck, or not fox sparks, fanglops suck. Oh, sometimes you just gotta complain for things to work out for you. How do you set the capture rate up to three times? You go into your settings. Like if you're playing solo, you go to settings, advanced, and then you go to the thing that says capture rate and you turn it up to three. <clears throat> now you make them go outside. Oh my God, especially if you live in Georgia. That's a solid punishment. You used to take outside away from kids back in the day, but now you take video games away and you put you, I haven't seen a kid outside in years you give them a bottle of water and you make them go outside and touch grass that's a solid punishment it's like, go learn to ride a bike When I was a kid, I literally was like locked out of the house until the sun went down. <laughs> Can you change the color of your armor? No, no, you can't. I could only seem to max it to two in solo last time I looked. Uh, do that. Uh, if you don't have the option to, you need to go into and change the Power World INI settings, or like your Power World settings INI, which I don't know where they are single player. I only know where they are for a server. You don't give them a bottle of water. The hose is good enough. You know what? That's true. I drank out of a hose my entire life when I was a kid. <laughs> Learning to ride a bike beat my ass <laughs> so hard when I was a kid. I learned in a day, but it took me weeks to heal. I learned how to ride a bike when I was like two. Um, but apparently I didn't know how to use the brakes. So instead, it was like a controlled crash. <laughs> I also, you know, I grew up poor, so I never had brakes as a kid. So I would always end up having to use my foot 
there's a lot of you out there that probably experience this where you just stick your foot in the back tire and do like a, a really nice controlled stop. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, I, I control crashed for a long time. I had a similar experience with inlines. Those were the devil's shoes. Oh, no, for sure. I had that, that same thing. I never, to this day, if you put, like, I, so there used to be, like, the skate parks and stuff when I was, I'm, I'm old. All right, I'm 35. So this was, this was a long time ago. Uh, but you used to have, like, those little, like, skating arenas and stuff like that or whatever they were, like, the big circle you would, you would rollerblade around in. To this day, I still don't think I can stop on those. I just ran into a wall, and that's how I stopped myself. <laughs> to this day, I'm 99% sure I would still do the same thing. Your PAL capture rate can only go up to 2. If, you, if you're using the slider, yeah, I think it goes to 2. You can turn it to 3 in the INI, which is the setting you should use if you want to make it to max with the, the glitch that's going on right now. Mm -mm. Roller skates, the brakes were the walls. Yep. Nice. Oh, you know what? It's almost nighttime. Okay, we gotta go. Oh no! <laughs> Moose. <laughs> Wait, is your name Moose Skittles? Oh, it's moo skittles. Is that like a cow that squirts out skittles? I'm so sorry that you're getting your wisdom teeth at 33. That is woefully unfortunate. Oh my god, razor scooters. How popular were those when we were kids? Oh my lord. Man, I don't know how I didn't die when I was a kid. Between uh, like, never was home. We just I I remember the thought. Like I think about it now, and I was like, man. So when I was a kid, I was like eleven years old. I would get on my bike, and when I would ride my bike like twenty miles to go to a place to to buy a Pokemon card. So I'd I'd rake leaves all day. Uh, or shovel snow or whatever it was. Then I would get on my bike and I would ride down to a like a game store to buy Pokemon cards on my bike. Like down the side of a highway was the way was the fastest way to get there. I was like, how the hell did I not die? Like I think about some of the stuff I did as a kid, and I think about my kid doing that now, and I was like, absolutely not. Just leave the house unknown where this child is going from 8 a.m. to, to like, 8 o'clock at night. Like, your kid's just gone for that amount of time. Not a care in the world. Like, how did I not die? Look, I know I was a fat kid, so I probably wasn't super attractive to kidnap, but... Jesus. And we didn't have any phones back then, or Life360. Exactly! Exactly! Nobody would have known. We had beepers back then. And I didn't have a beeper. I was a 10-year-old. I had no fwax given. No. Nope. I could have been a tasty little treat to somebody, and I had no idea. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. I had a beeper and didn't know how to use it. Back then, there weren't crazy people like there are today. No, there was crazier people back then. Because they could get away with it back then. You can't get away with anything nowadays. Woo! 
Ooh, we got a work slave and artisan blazemut. Nice. Sounds like my parents had courage. No, they were drug addicts, so. <laughs> Alright, so how many balls do we have? We have 61. We have got undershirt. Alright, we gotta go try and get a frost alien. Kane, thank you for coming to Majestic Bean. Mm -mm -mm. Drugs do give you courage. <laughs> That's true. It's 10 p.m. Do you know where your kids are? No, you don't care because you're on heroin. Can someone hard confirm if going beyond the in-game threshold actually works? Um... I mean, there's no reason to. Like, nothing's actually developed outside of that, so just don't. Where are my frost aliens at? I hope they're sleeping. I'm not the only one. You know what? Lexara needs to stop telling everybody how to catch frost aliens early because everybody and their mom is now here Trying to catch the butt stallions while they're sleeping. <clears throat> the face on the side of the milk cart in the first Amber Alert. Oh my god, yeah. Latchkey kids aren't allowed to be a thing nowadays. No, that's true. I mean I wouldn't I wouldn't do that. Like I'd be absolutely terrified. I know my I don't think kids are smart enough to fend for themselves nowadays. Like, they're just going to be watching TikTok while crossing the street and get hit by a car. I don't trust any kid nowadays to be outside by themselves more than, like, five minutes. Uh, GT Monica, thank you for the five gift memberships. Thank you so much. Like, I feel like most people don't have enough self-awareness nowadays to, like, I don't even let my kids go to the park alone. Oh, my God, yeah. Scariest thing for a kid for me was my grandpa. I grew up in the country. I left the chicken coop door open. Oh, and killed all of his chickens. Yup. Oh. Grandpa was a very unhappy, unhappy panda at that moment. But yeah, when I was a kid, I was what, like 12 maybe? I had to take public transportation in the city to school every day. So like 6.30 a.m. Where all the homeless like drug addicts hanging out near the school buses asking you for money. Oh my god. Every day. Every day. I wouldn't. I have a huge yard and I'm scared to let my daughter out in there. Oh yeah, I'm well, I'm scared to let my son out in my backyard by himself because I know there's a lot of snakes. I've had diamondbacks in my mailbox. I had two snakes making babies in my pool not long ago. Hmm. Lexara did this last night with 20 orbs. I'm going to be real butthurt if I'm going to use all 50 of these and not catch one. Oh, you got a pool? I don't think I have a pool anymore because I, I've seen multiple snakes make babies in my pool and now I just won't go in there. I don't go in my backyard, in fact. 
Yeah. Oh. So is the server you're going to open tonight going to be another hard mode? I think hard mode is more fun for longevity. So it's going to be hard mode, but with accelerated rates. So yes. The pals are going to hit you harder. There's going to be double the spawns. I think double spawns are fun. I think they're more fun. I want to encourage people to play together. I want to encourage people to have fun. And I want to encourage people to, to think about what they're doing. You know? Uh, so yeah, we're going to be releasing another server tonight uh, that is going to be very similar to the server that we're running right now yeah. with accelerated rates. So that way, anybody that wants to transfer some from servers they've been playing on before, get in the ball! Oh. I have... This is yeah. bad, bad, bad juju luck right now. I'm using the right balls, right? Why is it only 2%? Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Hmm. Time to get Lex to throw the ball. She's sleeping right now. No, the reason we had a crash before is because uh, for some reason, even though we offer, you know, really great server, really great rates, people still want to use mods and and uh, and do glitches and things like that to try and get ahead because the game isn't apparently easy enough as it is, uh, then cause uh, corruption of data and screw literally everybody else. Uh, so from now on, I have a zero tolerance rule on that. I monitor all the player data. And if I catch anybody doing anything, I'm just going to delete them. Yeah. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Wow, this is unbelievably bad luck. Yeah. Well, that's the second shake we've gotten this whole time. I really shouldn't use all these balls. Oh, come on. Come on. One more. Yeah. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Yeah. I just want to make Lexara a super fang load before she wakes up. Is that so much to ask? Get in the ball. I will shove this ball so far up your stupid frost alien ass that you won't know what to do. Get in the ball. I'll murder you if I have to. Try to get out of the way at the uh, the move, but it's got such a wide radius. Well, our stuff is there permanently now because I have no other cold weather gear, so that's cool. We're just gonna let it despawn. We'll get new stuff. Oh. 
Um, okay. The freaking plasmuts, I swear to god. We can just unequip those now. We're not getting any eggs, so this doesn't matter anymore. And we gotta revive our beacon. Oh, we got permanent combat music now, too. That's freaking fantastic. Oh, Billy. game looks fun. No, it's a really, really, really good game. Um, why are there still chickens out? There's a lot of chickens out still. Oh my god, we're stuck in combat music. Um, shoot. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? Maybe. All right, I really do need to go get my stuff back. All right, sweet combat music is fixed. Um, we've got level two cult. Uh, you know what? We're good. We Gucci. Awesome. Thank you for coming to Majestic Bean. Thank you very, very much. Chickens are trying to burn the base down. When are they not trying to burn the base down? Is the real question. <clears throat> oh, no. oh, so close yet so far away. Anyone see your chats? Yeah. The max IVs you can get in the pal is 50 health, 30 attack, and 30 defense, right? Uh, they actually changed the health to 30%. It's still wrong. Uh, people have still not figured out the exact health uh, IV, I don't think. Wow, somebody's still trying to catch this freaking Frost Alien. This thing is being brutal. Does not want to be caught. <laughs> Just started fresh when playing on single player. Nice, Stony. Well, we are going... Somebody just caught it. God dang it. Yep, they just caught it. We got the technology point, though. Aw, since your son loves Pal World, I made lamb ball kebabs and put a picture of lamb ball in the tray. Kids went nuts. That is amazing. That's such a good idea. That is fantastic. My own world, I took all your tips and put them into practice. Nice. Like, nobody has downloaded a new update recently, so until you download an update, nothing will be fixed. So if you don't see your game saying, hey, I'm updating, nothing's been fixed. It's probably going to be a couple more days. We might get one tonight, honestly, at 10. 
Uh, so I've noticed that whenever the pocket pair devs mention server maintenance, there's often an update around 10 p.m. Um, so I'm thinking we probably will get an update tonight around 10. Because we got an alert at 3.16. And the last time we got an alert... Yeah, we got an update the same day. Uh, so I'm assuming tonight around 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, we will also get a uh, a new update. Yep, I need to change the uh, spawn rate of stuff. Oh no, we're not getting a uh, a PAL update or a map update. I'd say for about a month would be my guess. I'm pretty good at guessing when updates are. Like I know a lot of people get butt hurt about my quote unquote pessimism, but I also you know worked high up in a lot of different companies in my life and. Uh, a lot of experience in this stuff and I'd say about 80% of the time I'm right when it comes to how long it's going to take for updates, when updates are going to come out, uh, what they're going to end up doing. But I'd say about, about a month before we get any actual content updates, which is exactly what they should be doing. Months optimistic. Oh, for sure. Um, but if I were to make a guess, they've already got production in progress of uh, of many different updates. Um, so once they fix stabilization, once they get to actually focus on fine tuning the rest of the stuff they want to add, uh, then we'll get the update. I'd say a, a month is definitely high hopes. Two months. Probably more realistic. Uh, that being said, uh, we've got Stamp in town. Um, so as much as I would love to do a three-hour stream like we have been, I do need to stop here for the day. Um, thank you all so very much for the uh, the support in the Power World servers. Uh, what I'm going to do after this, if you're a member, a new member, you've gotten gifted a membership, you can't get onto the server because it's full, I'm going to be launching another server. If that server maxes out tonight, I will launch another server on top of that. Uh, we're going to be doing the same thing that we did on this mod. It's going to be exactly the same settings, which means it's going to be, uh, it's going to be quote unquote hard mode, accelerated rates, increased XP, increased all of that stuff. So everybody gets to experience the same thing that we're experiencing on stream. Um, so keep an eye out for that. I'll be posting in Discord the login information for that, probably in I'd say about 15 minutes. Um, so if you're waiting for that new server to launch, just keep an eye on Discord for the login information. I do hope you all have a fantastic night, and I'll see you all in the next one. Uh, Copes, thank you for coming to Super Bean. Thank you so much. I'll see you all in the next one.